be continuing on with our assessment. Um, we're going to go ahead and go with the vascular system. So first and foremost, I'm going to assess the skin and the hair, even hair distribution on the chest. Check in the joints for any crepitus. The joint seems to be intact. Check in the wrist, hips, knees, ankles. Hair noted all throughout the legs. We have hair noted in the center of the chest, hair noted across the chest. Um, good distribution, no abnormalities noted. Um, we're going to go ahead and now we're going to auscultate um, some of these arteries. So first we're going to begin with the, um, the brachial artery. I'm going to listen there. But we're actually going to start, um, we're going to um, actually listen to the carotid first. So to your head, yep. All right, listen to the next carotid. Very good. Femoral, we're going to verbalize listening to. It would be down in this area, groin area. Popliteal. It's behind the knees. All right, very good. So now that we've gotten all those, we're also going to listen to iliac. Forgot about that as well. I want to listen to the renal as well. No breweries noted in any of these places. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on um, to the limb system. So we'll check radial, brachial, femoral. And we're going to verbalize popliteal and pedal. No abnormalities or swelling noted in any of these places. I'm going to go ahead and describe the abdomen here. Um, the abdomen does not seem distended, seems flat upon nature. There's no abnormalities now noted, uh, no tenderness when I was feeling on any of these joints. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and oscillate all four quadrants here. Normal active valve sounds uh, noted at this time. I'm going to go ahead and assess as well. We're going to begin to palpate. Um, at this time, too, we can actually check for a hernia. So I'm going to be crunch your head forward. Feel. I don't know signs of a hernia noted. All right, relax for me. I'm going to do some gentle palpation. Look for any tenderness, distension. Not ridge-like or anything else noted. We'll palpate for the spleen. Not noticing any splenomegaly. Liver here. We can percuss. Looking for dullness. Very good. No splenomegaly noted. And I can palpate. No splenomegaly. No hepatomegaly noted. And um, I can, the liver seems to be dull upon nature. I'm going to go ahead and percuss as well the bladder. Bladder seems to be tympanic, stomach, stomach also tympanic. Um, and now we're going to begin to assess for um, deep uh, palpation this time. I'm going to push a little harder here. Again, no distension noted, uh, no pain noted, no abnormalities noted. Um, again, no splenomegaly noted or anything at this time. Now we're going to start working on range of motion. So I'm going to start with the feet. Sir, if I can have you, there you go, push your ankles up, push down against me. Ankles up here, push down against me. Let's push up. Very good. Can you adduct your toes, open them up? Very good. Close them. 
Very good. I know you can't see, but the patient was able to open and close his toes at this time. Uh, five out of five strength noted in the toes. Have you push up against me with both legs? Very good. Five out of five strength noted. I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna move you, but I need you to move with me, okay? I need to add up your leg, cross it. Bring it back. Add it. Cross it. I'm gonna bring it, ex flex, extend, externally rotate. Push up against me and push it back. Very good. Five out of five strength noted there. Flexion. Extension. External rotation. Push up against me. Very good. That works out very well as well. Uh, again, no orbital mildness noted. Good range of motion noted in the hips um, and the feet at this time. So, or, and then also we're going to, and the knees as well. Um, uh, we noticed the good range of motion in the knees as well. We also did the toes. Um, we're also gonna do, now you pick your feet up just a little bit, kind of invert your toes, invert, externally, uh, or inversion, ex exversion. Um, gonna pull the ex hyperextend again, push out. So we did that already with the feet. We got the, we got the toes as well. And so now at this time, I'm gonna have you sit across the table for me. Very good. And we're gonna go ahead and move into um, your deep tendon reflexes. So I'm going to have you lift up your arm. Very good. Lift up this arm. Very good. I'm going to rotate your wrist. Thumb. Rotate. And check the wrist. The wrist. Good. We're going to do the knees. Knees. Achilles, Achilles, very good, and that seems to be oh, as well as the planter, um, so we're going to go ahead and hit here as well, oh wait, no, we don't need the planter, sorry, we're going to go ahead and scrape across, we're going to look for the toes to fan out, they should not fan out, very good, you just see an S is intact, planter, very good. All right, so all the deep tendon reflexes are intact that we have inspected. So now I'm gonna go ahead and have you stand up for me. All right, first and foremost, I'm gonna have you actually hold out your, all right, actually won't do that. So I'm gonna have you do some uh, motion exercise, so lift your arms up like this, push against me, push down, very good. So I'm gonna actually have you lift, lift your arms up like this, then rotate, rotate back down, pull them back, pull them forward, very good, shoulders. Um, we're gonna also do the elbows, so bring elbows up, extend them out, sorry, my bad, extend them out, bring them back together, supinate, or pronate, supinate, very good. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and now we're going to get the fingers as well. So we're going to have you uh, push your finger down, close them together, close, close your mouth, adduct, adduct, um, supinate, rotate, or supinate, pronate. Um, and then we're also going to have you do the wrist. Um, we can invert, exert, very good. Um, and we got the elbows, we got the arms, um, we got the wrists, we got. Uh, the thumbs, I'm going to have you open your thumbs. Touch your finger. Touch your finger. There you go. Perfect. Thumbs are good. Uh, we check the ankles. We check the toes. We're going to go ahead and move on to random motion tests. So hold your hands out like this. Flip them back like this. Very good. I'm going to put something close your eyes in your hand. Can you tell me what it is? Pen. Pen. Very good. There's something else in your hand. Tell me what it is. Keys. Very good. So um, he does notice both those objects. Um, also, we're going to assess him. We haven't noticed anything for trimmers. Uh, no issues. Hold your hands up. No sign of tremors noted. No issues. I'm going to have you close your eyes. Stand still for me. Lombard test. Make sure he doesn't fall. For about 10 seconds. All right. And now I'm going to have you hold your hands up like you're on the pizza box. I'm going to press against you. Keep your eyes closed. Prep perception is also good. All right. We're going to set. I'm going to uh, be touching with something, it's either going to be uh, soft or hard, you tell me if it, what it is. Soft. 
Awesome. Very good. So if you touch you something that's going to be sharp or dully, tell me what it is. Sharp. Dull. Very good. And I'm going to be touching you with something that vibrates. So tell me if it, when it touches me. It's touching me. Left arm. Touching me in right leg. Very good. All right. And then I'm going to have you at this time. Um, we're going to go ahead and have you walk towards me. Very good. We're going to have you walk towards this corner. Very good. Walk, walk, stop, turn around. Walk heel to toe tandem to me. Very good. Very good. And I'm going to have you turn around. All right. I'm going to assess his spine. No lordosis, lordosis, kyphosis, anything noted. I'm going to have you hyperextend your leg. Bring one leg back. Very good. Bring it down. Bring one leg back. Bring it down. Uh, very good. So I'm going to have you rotate left to right. Yes, rotate, rotate. I'm going to have you bend, touch your toes. All right. I'm going to have you stand back, flex your back. Very good. I'm going to have you laterally go down one side, laterally go down the other side. And I believe that is the end of my assessment.